Hi. We begin the series of self-paced videos for the self-leadership course with module 1, uncovering your true self and purpose. During each video, we will share with you a guiding metaphor as a beacon of light to refer back to when feeling lost or unable to remember the specifics. So for this module, let's use the metaphor of the forest. Connect the continuous search and uncovering of the self with the journey throughout the woods, having patches of light and enchantment, but also pieces of bumpy forest road and obstacles ahead, sometimes with hope as green as the leaves, and sometimes feeling strangled as a tree overtaken by poisonous ivy, which needs untangling. What we're going to cover in this first video is personal values, going from what are personal values and why are they important, through how they look like with 20 most common examples, followed by how to use them during times of conflict and what to be aware of when it comes to values. Then we will be switching gears towards an action-oriented approach focused on how to identify your own values in th three simple steps. So grab your pen and paper and let's step inside the forest. What is a personal value? Personal values are how you differentiate between good and bad in your community, culture, or society. They are what you view as the ideal standards of behavior, like patience or honesty. You probably have some guiding principles in your life that inform your decision-making, your goal-setting, and your overall disposition. These are probably your core values. Your personal value system is the accumulation of all these personal values that you hold. Together, they shape the way that you interact with the world around you. Most likely, you picked up your values from how and where you were raised. Your parents, your primary caregivers, your siblings, your school, your friends, your community, your culture, your religion, your country. All of these factor into how personal values are formed. You could refer to values as to what is meaningful to you or to what makes you feel unsatisfied if they are broken or violated. Common core values are essential to social cohesion, but they can also cause discontent. These differences in values might be strong enough to cause friction or even out in the open conflict. You might wonder which are some examples of core values so you know what they look like. We've listed just a few of the most common 20 values, such as respect, gratitude, happiness, integrity, adaptability, courage, family, simplicity, and the list can go on. Seeing how personal values can hold such a significance in our day-to-day -day life, it is equally important to know what to be aware of when considering them. Although your core values may be fairly stable, it might surprise you to know that your values change and evolve. Personal values are constantly changing. This is why it's important to understand your own personal value system and to check in with your values regularly. Through self-reflection and self-examination, you might find certain values are holding you back or hurting you and your relationships. For example, values around money and status that once seemed compelling may stop being helpful if you realize that you are still seeking satisfaction somewhere else. Once you're aware of them, you can consider whether they still matter to you. You may find that you need to change or reframe them so they are more helpful and less harmful in your life. Or if the values still hold true, you can change your life to honor the values that matter. You can learn a lot about your values by paying attention to what irritates you. Maybe a movie character rubs you the wrong way. Maybe someone in your life upsets you. Or maybe you found a task frustrating. Your anger might be rooted in a contradiction of your values. Also, sometimes we hold values that seem right, but haven't been tested. For example, before you have children, you might think that you value order and predictability. Two kids later, you might realize that other values like laughter, flexibility, or creative expression matter to you far more. Now that we know what personal values are and what is their significance, Let's see how we could use them in specific situations, like during conflict. Conflicts are not only external self-to-others interactions, but also internal self-to-self -self interactions that don't function properly and block us from taking the actions we wish for. Most of the times, behind a conflict of any sort, there is a value that is being trespassed. Otherwise said, values hurt. How to use them when they hurt? 
Let's start with the internal conflict when it's about self-inflicted pain. First of all, list your values on a piece of paper and work out to find their order. You will soon see what seems like competing values, which are conflicting one another. You can choose wisely which one to honor first while not forgetting about the other one, which will wait for its turn to come. This way you make an assumed decision based on your needs for that moment, ending the internal conflict of values. When it comes to external conflicts or outside inflicted pain, you need not only to list your values, but also the ones on the other side. You don't need to order them anymore, as it will become easily clear which values you possess are butting heads as opposites with the values of the other side. At that moment, you will have the option to choose an alternative path that honors both values at the same time or both values in sequence. This way you can end an external conflict of values. We've spoken a bit about what personal values are and you must be wondering by now, which ones are my values? Much like flowers emerging from the branches of a tree, the same way our inner change and fulfillment will emerge from our actions. This is why we propose to you action number one, how to easily identify your values. Grab that pen and paper and write down these three simple steps. Then take it as food for thought and answer each one thoroughly in your working journal. How to identify your own values. Step one, brainstorm with yourself on the question, what's important to me in life? Make sure you write down anything and everything. Step two, review each item if it's something you can do or have and ask, what does that give me? Do this until you get to a value. For those items which you can't do or can't have, they may as well already be values, so just keep them on the list. Step three, narrow down the list to a top five, grouping connected words together by using slashes like honesty, truth, authenticity. Make sure you put the most important words at the front, ranking these values. Ask the question, which one I can't do without, and write them down on a left to right axis, keeping as close to the left as possible the ones which matter most. This way you will get to the ranking easier. We end this video by saying, be yourself, everyone else is taken. This motivational quote by Oscar Wilde emphasizes the importance of staying true to yourself and living aligned with your own values. It reminds us that each person is unique and has their own set of values, beliefs, and principles. Embracing and living in harmony with those values not only allows you to live an authentic and fulfilling life, but also sets you apart from the crowd. Remember, it's okay to be different and stand out by staying true to who you are. See you in our next video about personal beliefs.